Hey everyone, it's Jeremiah from Alamance Battleground, and today it is my pleasure to speak with the man who has been portraying Redknapp Howell, uh, the regulator leader at Alamance Battleground for many years, Mr. Ted Henson. Ted, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. It's so, a pleasure to be here. Yeah, uh, so how long have you been portraying Redknapp? I've been portraying Redknapp now for about 12 years. That, that's uh, longer than I've been at Alamance Battleground. Um, and. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about him? Obviously in that time you'd do some research on Redknapp. What, what do you know about us and, and can share with the audience? Well, Redknapp came down to the back country of Carolina somewhere in the mid 1700s. We're not sure. I usually say 1750, somewhere in that area. Mm -hmm. He came down as a teacher. He was a teacher by trade and there were no teachers at all in this part of Carolina at that time. And so he came down to see if people would accept him and let him move into here and start the very first schools. And so the man's giving credit for starting the first schools ever in what is now the Piedmont region of North Carolina. And uh, as he did that, a lot of his life was taken up working with the people. He stayed in their homes. He moved from cabin to cabin teaching. So he became known all across the county. He got to know the people all across the county. And that sort of moved him up into a position where everybody knew and respected him. And I think that helped him become a leader of the rebellion when it started. And when we uh, look at the scholarship of the regulator movement, obviously Herman Husband uh, gets mentioned a lot. He gets a lot of attention. James Hunter to a, a, a lesser extent. Mm -hmm. And Redknapp gets mentioned, but, but not quite as much. Um, could you tell us a little bit about what his role was as a leader uh, of the movement, sort of what made him unique. One of the things that I think made him unique was that he was both a musician and a poet. And so he wrote several songs and the purpose of these songs were to keep the spirits of the people up and he made fun of the oppressors and he encouraged those that were oppressed to stand up against them and so he kept it going on and on. I have read in the Colonial Records, some historians are now saying they think he may have written some of the pro uh, proclamations and advertisements for the regulators as well because he was an educated man. And they said if you look at the flow of the writing, it's different from some of what Herman Husband wrote. And Herman Husband was a good writer and did a great job there. But there's a little difference there, and they think it may have been Redknapp Powell that was in the background writing some of that material. Mm -hmm. And it makes sense, since his, part, his job was to teach reading and writing wherever he went around in the area. Mm -hmm. And uh, so our audience just watched uh, your recitation of his letter written from Halifax in February of 1771, and he does have some really amazing turns of phrase in that letter. He really does. He, he has a unique way of expressing himself. Mm -hmm. He has a good use of the English language as it was back in the 1770s. Absolutely, and I think in this letter we also get a little bit of a taste of Redknapp Howell, the, the organizer, um, the, the, the sort of uh, personality that can attract people to a movement. I think you're absolutely right, and I think part of that goes back to the fact that he was a schoolmaster. He had gained the confidence of the people. I have read in some colonial writings that they re really respected him as an educator because he genuinely cared about the children that he was working with. And I think since he was also living in a lot of their homes, he had time to talk to them and he had a genuine concern for the mistreatment that was going on with the adults as well as the kids. And so he really got excited about it and he wanted to correct that because he really had a passion for these people. And that's evidence in a lot of the writing that he does. Well, Ted, thank you so much for uh, doing the recitation of the letter and for everything that you've done, both for Alamance Battleground and in keeping Redknapp Howell's story alive. Thank you, it's been a pleasure. If you want to watch more of Ted as Redknapp and learn a little bit more about Redknapp Howell and his work in the North Carolina backcountry, we highly recommend that you check out our video series, Backcountry Lessons with Redknapp Howell. It's a series of videos that you can find on our YouTube channel in which uh, Ted as Redknapp talks about life in the backcountry, the regulator movement, and some elements of culture in the North Carolina backcountry. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day.